this video is we're switching the roles. I have African American. Nah, He's like got we, German in there. Like do the, the intro for the show. It's your boy Thunderfuck coming in with Danny Survivor. <laughs> Yes, we are here live recording. It's Arthur E. Lee, Jonathan Masters. We'll be talking about race. Hopefully, we'll just figure it out today, just like in the next five minutes. Just figure it out. All right. <laughs> and then the world will be a better place. Yeah. Um, white and black, ever since 1900, W.B. Du Bois uh, has been talking about America and the color line. So. Um, it's 2012 and everything is still white and black to a lot of people, so um, I don't know. What you think? I think it, I think it is. You think we'll ever actually get past that? I think... Because um, we literally ain't white or black. In a few generations we might be able to get past it. It gets better every generation. I see mahogany, I see uh, caramel, I see peach, pink, a little pinkish. Yeah, I don't see white or black. Like that's white. Like that isn't me. His, his pants are black. I mean, it, it's all a facade anyway. So it would be appropriate to use words that don't really describe anything to represent the facade. So, Shouldn't language ever be used as precisely define things? I mean, what precise language could you use to define human? Something, something that doesn't make human? sense? I mean, we're, we, all we're, not human. we're not defining human, we're defining racism. Racism is based off nothing, it's based off lies. Skin color, I mean, it's based off skin color. There it's is not, a it's different not based hue. off skin color because we're not black or white. So right. It's based off nothing. It's based off it's, absolute nonsense. It's based on racist science. In like 1890s, a racist scientist was uh, categorizing all the races. And then it was at the same time that slavery was being created in America. But what is racist science based off? It was just, he, he wanted to figure out who the most beautiful people in the world were. And he was a white guy and he said Caucasians were, and that's where the uh, word well, Caucasian came from. It's in the uh, eye of the beholder, it depends on your own perception. It's opinion, right? Yeah. Well, so, how is science, what is science based off of opinion? It's bullshit. bullshit. It's lies so. and it's horseshit. But it's persisted since then because the racialization of sla there slavery in America, and ever since then it's been white or black the whole fucking time. So. We're just stuck with this because, like, I mean, we do have, like, different skin hues, you know, like, you are a little darker than me. I'm a light-skinned brother, right? <laughs> but, I mean, like... Uh, from a scientific perspective, you would never really get over racism just for the fact that if you have a child, say you have three kids, two of them... Kids look ain't like, racist. Look, you have three kids, two of them look like the mother. One of them looks like you. No. The one that looks like you, you tend to favor you, have, you seem to have favorites. That would be me being racist, though. Isn't there a way to raise children to where, where there no, no, isn't? No, no, I'm telling you that it's just a natural psychological... It's a natural psychological uh, result of evolution that we take care of people who look yeah, like Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, more. on the same token, you could just say a black woman and a black... Uh, or white woman would relate to each other compared to a man and a woman. Yeah, because they relate to each other on the female level. So you know, if gender like somehow trumps race, I don't know. I don't think it has to be natural. I guess I feel like uh, hatred is taught. So uh, maybe me and you can't. I don't know. I've never. I don't. I don't give a shit. I think I literally look at cultural differences, and so I do kind of think like we're all racist because we see white, black, Asian, you know, um, Mexican, Hispanic, Native American. Canadian, French. I mean, there's actually like a ton of groups out there. <laughs> yeah, racism is taught like kids. When, when kids are in kindergarten and stuff, they'll play together without regard to race. And then once they get older and they start to learn their social constructs in life, they'll start to move towards their own um, ethnicity. But Well, why? I mean, Dennis Leary says, you know what my son hates? Because racism is taught. You know what he, he hates? hates? Naps. He hates yeah. naps. Yeah. So, and I, I don't know, I did read one study that said that babies are racist, that they kind of see different races and they, you know, there's like brain, there's more neurotransmitters going across or something, I don't know. But then I've also like seen kids just playing without giving a shit, without caring. It's like, oh, you're a kid, I'm a kid, let's run around, like our heads chop off and just <laughs> act crazy like fucking kids. I mean, that, that's true, but since that happens and since the latter, what you said before that happens, 
then you it will always be a bit of racism. I wouldn't say racism, but people are going to be able to tell that it's just slightly different from the next person. But like you said, kids play with each other without regard to race. And if, if you don't teach anybody hatred for another person's race. What's up, America? <laughs> So, you know, fucking white people, you fucking white people, what the fuck you fucking white people? I'm getting that character right now. You see my belt? So, fucking white people, Jesus Christ, white people. You started off fucking killing Jesus Christ, fucking black person. You want to lynch fucking Jesus Christ, you fucking Romans. You all started out wrong. 1492, you started out wrong in America. My God, white <laughs> That's one idea. <laughs> yeah, maybe I can't do that. Much. So I'll just worry about I'll just worry about bashing whites. I don't even want to think about how you can counter any of it. Bashing white people, so I slap bash black people. I don't want I don't want bash black people in the stereotypical way because this is how I'm trying to do this. But I don't want bashing like a real realistic sense. Yeah, like, like an intellectual, intellectual like way. Stop. I see so many of these same things actually like white and black here. Both of them beating their kids, both of them poor, yes. both of them where there's crack, there's meth, where there's fucking, you know, ebonics, there's fucking hillbilly on things, you know, I feel like it's all like that's how you know, we could do it. The yeah. Hillbillies are like actually like proud to be backwards, you know, they're proud of their ignorance, they're proud to be stupid. Street people are Oh my like god, yeah, okay, people. right. So So we can like bounce it off like that. You don't teach me people these stupid whack jokes, these dumbass white jokes. Then they won't ever know, you know. I mean, of course they'll know if they look at history, but they can look at history with a with a disapproving perspective on it. Like, oh wow, they did that. Look at that. those guys are assholes. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know any good white or black jokes? I don't know any white jokes. I know a whole bunch of black jokes. <laughs> you don't know any white jokes? I mean, black How people. How about here? I got one. Black people don't sit around white and joke about white people. Yeah, I know. That's, white people suck. You know, they just, <laughs> I mean, it's just a fact. It's not even like a joke. It's not even fun anymore. Uh, it's like, um, <laughs> what, what do you call something that's, that's, that's brown and moves 300 miles an hour? Oh my god. What's that? A nigga in a blender? Oh my like god. That? Oh um, shit! It's it's a lot of uh, yeah yeah. I forget them though. I yeah, I wish I don't actually know the ones that I already know. I know the ones I always tell the white people. Hey, I got a joke. What do you call a black man who flies an airplane? Uh, a pilot. What are you a racist? <laughs> And I always get that. I got you, actually. <laughs> You're like, what, what the fuck do you call him? <laughs> oh, chicken? <laughs> yeah. So, what do you think is the best thing, uh, Say, let's say black America. What's the best thing about black America? The best thing about black America would be the camaraderie. That you get when you when you're from the community. Um, That's awesome. I, I feel like there's no solidarity or community or culture actually with white people. And actually, the fact that white women love us. <laughs> that, that's pretty cool too. Is white women your kryptonite? Nah, Asian. Sweat women. Eddie Griffin. <laughs> That's still with the pale skin. It's just the pale skin or something. I mean, you got some olive skin. Oh my God! A black woman is my dream. Is it? You think maybe it's just like the something that's like, like forbidden exotic. to the other, yeah. the other. Yeah, I think. So. Asians are too exotic for me. I mean, I feel like there's a limit. <laughs> I, I love all people. I mean, I'm I just think like being tigers really and walruses are too exotic. In terms of beauty. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, those are way too exotic. That's damn. I wish I didn't even have a visual. A walrus? Who the who the fuck would go fuck a walrus? You have to be like out in the snow. It'd be all cold and shit. Not like to like have a walrus in your head. I wouldn't fuck a walrus or a tiger. But anyway, and the worst thing about the black community. 
Uh, what's that would be? Gang violence. Gang violence and religion. But, um. Well, that's racism. But, I mean, racism, I don't Sucks for me. I don't really. I really don't see a lot of racism in the black community. I mean, you'll hear, you'll hear a black person say some racist shit from time to time, but it's not really deep, deep, like you don't really see it. You probably hear some racist like once a month. Yeah, and I don't know. I feel like actually when I walk into a room and there's black people in the room, I feel like they look at, oh, what's this white boy? What you just did? What's he coming in here for? What is this about? Or is don't, that, don't get that me wrong, the black people are racist. Is yeah. that the police? <laughs> yeah, black people are really racist, you know, because they basically, African Americans are raised by white people. I don't I don't hate black people for the racism. It just sucks when it falls on my head because I feel like I'm different. And radical whites were getting lynched, well, not as like with black people, but they were like just as a threat to the status quo, um, you know, as, as the slaves were. So when... I don't know. I think Abraham Lincoln, JFK, RFK, Willis Russell out of Owen County, like single-handedly fought the Ku Klux Klan against the mayor, against the judge executive, against the sheriff. They was all part of the Klan. And he went ahead and got the coalition of militia, called the governor and all the, try to get state arms and stuff. They wouldn't send the arms, so he just went around arresting people. He used to be a deputy at one point, but he just put his badge on and started arresting the, the KKK people who was going around terrorizing everybody. So history, I mean, I don't Like what instances can you see with black people with holding each other? Like, like Buffalo soldiers. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. So black people holding each other black. The, uh, the hustlers with Bibles and the preachers who are uh, using white Jesus to uh, make them believe in a false deity and give up all their money for some bullshit thing, establishing no education in schools, they actually get us to the hospitals. God yeah, and I feel for that there's like 20 churches in like a little black neighborhood and a white neighborhood. There's shit like the churches all over the place. But I think it's a good point, like how much compared to the church's pocket? Right. And how many fucking homeless people do you have per church? Yeah. <laughs> is there 20 of them around the church? Like why couldn't they live inside the church? Yeah, and we're walking in the a big fucking building and it's nice. Nobody uses it all the fucking week. Nobody. I work in every family of a man. Let me think. Black people. Black people. Um, black people are cool. They got swag. They got music in there. Um, so what would be the issues? I don't know. There's there's some issues with ignorance. The culture of ignorance. I think that's comparable to both uh, fucking Appalachian Kentuckians. You know, black folks. Like... I don't read. <laughs> no, I don't read shit. Chris Rock had a bit about. Um, I keep it real. I don't read. I keep it real. Yeah, you keep it real, real dumb. Um, so I've heard that shit. <laughs> my, my cousin said, I don't read books. I'm a farmer. I don't have to read. I've heard it. I've heard it. And he's teaching his kid hates school. His kid fucking hates school. Bad, which is a devil, right? Right. <laughs> he he don't even like reading. Um, so I would think actually all the issues of white people have seen it recently, but history says that when you stand up for black people, you die. <laughs> uh, Charles Sumner, John he got caned. John Brown. First part of the he was basically Abraham Charles Lincoln Slater. on a small scale. Yeah. Abraham Lincoln like lauded as this great person. John Brown is basically forgotten in the, you know, I don't know, the toilet Martin of history. King, yeah. The yeah, there's the entire black people. All the black people <laughs> in the party. Yeah. Well, just, I mean, there's, I don't know, there's actually an argument today, there's prison industrial complex, there's legal lynchings. Um, it was a lynch trade in, uh, in, uh, uh, in some small Oscar county. Yeah, well, remember the, the, what was the, the, the eight, the five, the something five, or the, the, oh, sure. the Apollonia eight or something. Remember <laughs> those, eight, those eight kids, they got, um, Suspended for school or some shit for fighting about somebody had a, a dog hung or something or something like that. And then it was this, it was a kid that got hung recently and 
and they know who did it, but they wouldn't press charges because they and they tried to say that he hung himself. And that was in Kentucky. It's ten till ten. Yeah. We haven't talked about white people yet.